Hey there, what's buzzin'? This is Tim from the Perot Museum again, and today we're gonna try out some foods that are eaten by about a third of the rest of the world, but really not eaten too much in the United States, and that's edible insects. There's actually more protein in a piece of insect than there is in an equal sized piece of steak. So there's a lot of good uh, protein there, good nutrients for your body, and they take a lot less resources to produce. Maybe it's the food of the future? Let's check it out and see. Here we have some different prepackaged foods. These are silk moth pupas. So where silk comes from, this is the pupa that lives inside the cocoon. And these are called frozen ant eggs, but they're actually uh, larvae and pupa from large ants from Asia. We also have some June beetles, local ones that we're gonna try eating. All right, let's get cooking. Here we have our ant larvae and pupae that we've mixed with couscous and ingredients like you would use in calico beans. And we'll heat it up here and test it out when everything's finished. Here we have our silk moth pupae and we're cooking them in some butter and garlic before we add them to a mixture of spaghetti sauce. Here we have our silk moth pupae in our pasta sauce and we're working on heating up some semi-sweet chocolate for our June bugs. Uh, we're gonna dip those in chocolate and then set them on this uh, aluminum foil to cool. All right, we have our finished products, and we have our, another test subject. Hi. We're gonna start with the silk moth pupae in pasta sauce with a little bit of garlic. What do you think? Sweet, a little bit garlicky. Yeah. Is it kind of uh, like a ravioli? Yeah. A little bit. Let's try the uh, ant larva and pupa. What do you think about that? It's also sweet. That's all I can really say to describe so we, it. We use the calico bean seasoning on that. Does it taste a little bit like calico beans? Yeah. They're, they're kind of small enough you can't really taste them too much, right? Right. Alright, how about the uh, chocolate covered uh, June beetles? All you can really taste is the chocolate. Chocolate and a little bit crunchy? Yeah. Kind of like nuts? Mm-hmm. Thumbs up or thumbs down for each of the products. First one, thumbs up. Second one, thumbs up. Third one, thumbs up. All right. Well, cool. Hopefully this inspired some of you out there to try something new, whether it's edible insects or something else. Uh, keep in mind food allergies if you're allergic to things like shrimp or lobster. Uh, insects are invertebrates as well, so it is possible you could have reactions, so keep that in mind. And uh, we'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.